Welcome to another edition of Jim and Dave's Beer Review. I think we're at 49 now, people. Well, we stopped counting because I haven't uploaded a couple weeks worth. But we're uploading tonight just because we decided, you know what? Numbers don't matter. Matter of fact, I can go back and fix the numbers later. What matters is we got our stuff out and on time. Yes. We're learning. And we are going to get our own YouTube channel. Right now I'm posting this on my personal one. Wow. This is going to be the raw, unedited stuff. We all stuff. want you to subscribe. But we are going to get our own channel. Cool. Absolutely. So, Dave. We have um, it's Lord Chesterfield Ale from Yingling. Yingling, yes. Pennsylvania beer. Yes. America's oldest brewery. Still in operation. And Jim, Jim's the one right that in the up. state. He's the one that's always said, meet the beer, say hello to the society. Ooh. Okay. So anyway, what do we know about Lord Chesterfield, Dave? Yikes. I don't know. I can't read that. Can you? Yikes. Nice that was a link Chinese. on the Yingling website? That's in Chinese. That was Chinese, man. Ooh, nice and cold. All right, since... Our beer. Well, you know, if I could give one critique to Yingling, you know, the label's very nice. You got your warning up here. But, you know... Maybe you want to just put a little backstory or something on there. And maybe it's on the case. I took the case, I tossed it right in the garbage. Because usually a lot of brewers, especially the smaller ones, have kind of like a little story about, you know, how they got started or something about the beer. It's 1829. So well, I think that's just when Yingling got started. I don't know. Yes. If it's just... Yes, I think that's usually. America's oldest brewery. Its distinct robust flavor is derived from a delicate combination of sweet maltness and lingering... Herbal bitterness, oh boy. Sweet what? Sweet maltiness. Sweet with, maltiness. With That's a new one. herbal bitterness. And I don't like the word bitter. I don't, I don't like, like the word bitter. Stuff. Although I hear bitter is becoming very fashionable in microbrewing. Fashionable. But, uh, it's fashionable beer. You drink beer, you're man, you don't make it fashionable. Well, you know, you always hear this stuff about... No, sour. Sorry, not sour. bitter. Sour. Yeah. As a sour beer. You only like lightweight, 98 calories. You know, but we're talking about Lord Chesterfield here, people. And that's all they have on it? Just yeah, well, Why is it called... Beer, they have it, a beer advocate uh, site that you could look up more information on it. Yeah, I was about to say, well, okay, why is it called Lord Chesterfield? Uh, uh, what makes it an ale per se? Fine. Now, I'm just looking at it here, and unlike the Oktoberfest, which is still sitting here from our last review, uh, excuse me, Fritz and Schlitz's last review. Fritz and Schlitz. You'll notice this one is in a green bottle, and this one's in a brown bottle. Here we go, overview. Lord Chesterfield ale from DG... Yingling and Sun is an American style pale ale. Oh, you like your pale ales. A pale ale? DG Yingling and Sun Inc. have given Lord Chesterfield Ale the following description. Brew with Slick Hobson, so the same thing as I said before. All right, so all right, so at least we know what it is now. Well, Serving we... size 12 calories, 5.6 uh, beer per, I mean, you know, uh, 12 grams carbohydrates, uh, colored yellow. Um, all right, so, but who was Lord Chesterfield is what I want to know. And should we be talking in an English accent, old chap? I feel uh, we could we could talk stuff like this is my mate here. You know? Good day. No, that's uh, Australian. Well, wait a minute. And I go out and smoke a fag. I smell skunk. No. I think this beer is skunked. You know, people, I've been watching a lot of Law and Order UK, and I've been learning the lingo of all these people with this their mates. This is my sad face. Oh, uh, Lord Chesterfield. I smell skunk. Oh, good Lord. You smell it too? Yeah, man. Now, how long has this Lord Chesterfield been sitting there? Where'd you get it? Look at this. Ooh. Ice. Ooh, we left it in there too long. Yes. We put it in the freezer when we first got here. This is the last one we were reviewing tonight. So, it's possible that, uh, oh, jeez. You're not coming out for me, people. Uh, you want some of mine? Yeah, I, could... yeah, I, got it, I got it. I got it. Take this here. You know, we were just cleaning Puff's ass with that. I, I, I didn't get to take it to that. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Excuse my language, people. Come on out, people. See, so this is why we have this raw version. Then we have an edited version. I'm trying to make this beer review family friendly, which, as I say it out loud, sounds really dumb. Can you pour some beer in there, please? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's not put that on the rug. Put it somewhere. Oh, it's coming out, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, 
Hey, there we go. Broke the seal, people. All right, that's everyone where you got this quiz. We don't want to think it's. Uh, we don't want them to think we got our friend Austin's beverage. This is not from Austin's beer. This is from the Wegmans, who sell. Wegmans. Uh, they have a a section where it's. Um, you put your own. You can use a six pack. You build your own six pack, so you can take any kind of. They have a section. You can't just go around to all the different kind of beers and take one beer out per. Because I, I was going to do that, and the guy's like, "No, we can only have a section of this kind." They have to mark it with a red marker on top of the of the label. I mean the, the the bottle. So and it's in a little section next to where these you know the cases are, the six pack uh, cases. And then you pick from whatever you want. You put it in there, and you pay eleven ninety nine. It's a little high. I would be picking out like the, like the most expensive beer to get if I were you people because. Eleven ninety nine is a lot for a freaking six pack of beer. But tonight is Yingling night. I like you got all the different kinds. Now it's possible that Wegmans. Was, how much was the case that you bought for this? Oh, uh, twenty five bucks. Twenty seven ninety nine comes to mind. Say if you would have bought four, four, it'd be like forty bucks for freaking. Uh, 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 well, freaking Pennsylvania's got weird laws compared to the rest of the world. Um, now, who knows how long this beer has been sitting in Wegmans. Uh, well, you have, you're, you're, you have to admire Samuel yeah. Adams because they do, you know, have a little thing that says, by this date, don't send it back. We don't want you to drink it. Where admire is it? There's it. not on here. It's a Samuel Adams thing that every brewer does that. Does and quite frankly, on? Wegmans, shame on you. If this beer is not selling and it's past... Can you read this? Let's see, read what? There's a little date thing on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Oh, well, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me get back on the bottle here. It's, if you look at that, it's about, look at this. Are you sure that's a date thing? It's gotta be a date. It says 40. It's 40. $40? No, just... I want a 40. I don't know why it says 40. Well, I gotta tell you what. For a beer review, I'm not sure this is going to be a very fair review of this particular ale. I like pale ales. But I'll tell you what, as Let's soon as I cracked Maybe this open, I got that skunk smell. And you know what? We're going to try it anyway because that's what we're here for. Normally I get that skunk smell and I'm just like, you know what? No, I'm just going to put it. We're going to get a shot. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. I'm but dying to try this to see how bad it is. Well, let's see what we do for you. There we go. Uh, I don't even want to say cheers. I'm not even going, you know what? You know what? We're not, we're not, yeah, forget it. No cheers. A bit flat, yeah. Now, I'm not getting the, sp the skunky flavor, no, not, uh, not taste. Actually, it doesn't taste bad. It's just it it's like a little the, flat. There's a five second taste delay there. When uh, I first tasted it, it wasn't, I was like, oh, okay, but just it came back like 10 seconds, five, 10 seconds later. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't do that to me. Sour beer? Rah, rah, rah. What happened to my teeth? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't happen that way with me. Oh, my much, God. Well, you know, decent color. You know, I can't smell anything. I, I can't give it a fair beer review. Sniffles. It's still. Yeah, this is... We're not, no numbers. Forget it. This is the first time in the history of Jim and Dave's beer review we can't review that we, can't, we cannot fairly... This is... Uh, and it's not Yingling's fault. Well, it's sort of their fault because they should probably make a point to do the Samuel Adams thing and say, "Hey, by this don't do it." But sorry, people, we can't. I mean, it's just—it's not that bad. It's just a little flat. You know, I might actually like this if it was fresh and not skunked out. Now, let me ask you something. When you bought this at Wegmans, was it cold or was it just sitting up out warm on a shelf it's, somewhere? Uh, it, I don't remember if it was on the section that was warm beer or cold beer. Because it's, 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 there's like a display case next to where they keep the cool beers at. And I picked some up from there and I think I picked one up from here that could have been the warm beer. Alright, well, know. very disappointed. Now, a little bit of a flavor I got here that's not skunky. It doesn't seem to be too bad. Yeah, this doesn't smell too good yet. Like yeah, it's, a, it's got the skunk smell. It. Just you know, you want there to be the full experience. You want it to look good. You want it to smell good. You want it to taste good. The taste right now, when it's first going down, I was like, hey, not bad. But then there's like this five or ten seconds later to get this. I don't know if it's a bitterness or it's some kind of aftertaste. I'm not digging it. Is it there regularly, or is it because the beer is probably past this date? I think it's past this date. Someone's coming oh. to you. We gotta hang up now. It's Secretariat! 
Dun, 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 dun. So I already did the Craig Ferguson review. All right. Well, that's enough uh, for now. I guess uh, my wife uh, was not in a good mood today because uh, she went to work and uh, everyone said, what are you going to work for? Mah, 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 mah. I wasn't giving her a hard time. Everybody else was. So she called Chinese people to come over because she feels better when there's Chinese people around because she's Chinese. I think that's your friend, uh, the one she was walking with last week. Walking what? Didn't you go on a walkabout or something with somebody last week? No. You were going to hike with her friend and her friend's husband? No. No. Okay. It does sound like Edward, though. All right. Well, anyway, blah, blah, blah. We'll edit that part out because that's totally useless. I do like it when random music pops up in the middle of beer review. We may have to add that in. Alrighty, well, sorry, Lord Chesterfield. I don't know who the heck you were or what the heck you did. We will have to come back and maybe redo this again. Dave, I want you to go back and talk to Wegmans and say, Hey, this is bull. This beer is turned. If this was a bottle of wine and you were in a nice restaurant and you sampled it, you'd send it back. This beer is turned. Forget about it. Not cool. Wegmans, nice concept. But you got to keep your beer fresh. Dave, what do you think? I agree, but I don't know if I want to go over there for just two beers. Cause I would. My time. I get your money back. you got to bust balls in this world to get what you want. dollars That's not the point. You say you keep your money. Say, dudes, not cool. Skunk They'll beer. say we're sorry, and then they'll forget about me two seconds later. So I'd spend ten minutes of my day. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. They don't give if you're problem. watching this, I want you to send an email to Wegmans and say, okay, you don't do sell skunk beer. Period. There you go. No, not period. Exclamation point. That's when you know we're being serious. Don't piss off, Jim. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I take my... This is Jim and Dave's beer review. We take beer seriously. No, I do. I mean, yeah, we get a little silly time, time, sometimes. You want to add a little bit of humor. But you know what? It's going to be me. It's going to, the fact that I even honored this with trying to, you know, do something. Uh, uh, words fail me. I blame Wayman's. I don't blame Yingling. They sell the beer. Somebody keeps it on the shelf too long. That is the person selling its fault. Am I wrong? Leave a comment. Dave, any further thoughts? Oh, don't get Jim upset. Don't give me skunk beer. I'll tell you what. Right. Don't give Jim upset. It's not a good thing. Jim. Nope. I won't do a good beer review. <laughs> <coughs> oh, good lord. I'm okay. See what you've done, people. Yes. It's another example of the man keeping down the common worker. Damn right. Although I'm a commonly good worker, but. Alrighty. Uh, bag this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please Bye. drink responsibly. Yes, me too. And, uh, I got nothing. Me neither. Yeah, we're done. I'm done. Uh, what a terrible way to end the evening for beer reviews. Yeah, we do this in every we'll Saturday. It's for fun now. Well, it's for fun, I know, but, you know, you want to... I want to, to... This is to, the first time we did, we couldn't give a fair number if because... I it, die, my, my likeness is out there for everybody to see. Doing one of the favorite things I like to do is drink beer. So maybe this will be on YouTube forever. Yes. Yes. Imagine 200 years. We're saying, boy, look at this low resolution 1080p stuff. 1080p, <laughs> we, we, that? we have 12K movies now. I can't believe they did it at such a low resolution. <laughs> All right. Enough of this nonsense. We got about a minute left, people. See you later. Sorry about this. It happens once in a while. Right. Never before, but hopefully not for a long time. Hasta la vista, baby. See ya.